Hello Internet, and welcome back to the narrated Final Fantasy VI experience. I'm still not sure about the word narrated. Narrated implies that I'm telling the story from an omniscient point of view, whereas actually I'm just attempting really badly to do voice acting for the characters. But I can't, I can't put the, the, the Demogen does voice acting edition on the titles, <laughs> so whatever. Um... We're continuing on with the story today. We don't have a huge... Uh, th there are things that I can do. But I think continuing onwards with the story... That's odd. There aren't any guards. We shouldn't stand around. Let's go. Well... That's mysterious. Hmm, that door is still locked. But where is everybody? Well, I don't mind because it means that I've got no random encounters to fight, but it's still kind of weird that everybody's disappeared. Uh, where do I actually go? <laughs> have I missed a really obvious exit? I have. Well, no, I haven't missed it technically. I just hadn't gone that way yet. Oh. Oh, it's this music. I like this piece of music. It's the mystery music. Oh, a chest. Assassin's Dagger. I wonder who we put that on. Blade that may randomly dispatch an enemy in one hit. That may. I wonder what the percentage chance on, on that is. Well, I guess we'll find out. Uh, question. Do I have auto battle on? I do not. Oh, no. Terra is confused. And has just whacked Mog, I think. Mog, dance for us. Mwom. <laughs> I love that. Uh, why is Edgar glowing blue? Also, what was healing? Hmm. Um. Right. Questions that need answering. Why is that girl going blue? Aha! He's glowing blue because he's got the reflect ring on. Uh. For now. Let's put that on instead. And do we have a, a non-elemental sword? Hmm. I, I think Terra... Hitting them with an ice blade might have been what was healing them. These enemies are hitting a little bit harder, which is nice. Bye! Obtained Kazakiri. Oh, I need to sort these. Kazakiri. That's a sword for... Isn't that what Cyan's already got? May invoke a Razor Gale. I feel like that's what he's already got. Do 
just checking the corners for secret passages because you literally never know in these old school dungeons. Right, now why is Terra glowing red? Well, oh, gained a level. Wonderful. Uh, Terra, why are you glowing red? Uh... Hermes Sandals... Cast haste on you. Oh, it, it, yeah, it's haste that, that turns you red, isn't it? Uh, what? Uh. I, I, I'm guessing that the floor is lava. That actually almost made me jump. Scorpions! Oh, I forgot to heal Mog up. Um, Antares. Meow. <laughs> I love how Mog could literally just, you know, remove people from the battlefield. Uh, I'm actually going to heal him up. Can he heal himself up? Doesn't he have... Yeah, he does. Cure is so efficient. Um... No, I can't get down there. Oh! What happened then? Did I take damage? I did, a tiny amount. Ah, the bridge is falling away. Ah, I see. I see, I see, I see. Uh, so I want to stand there. No. How is the bridge moving? Gotcha. If I stand there. Yeah. No. Nope. Stand there. Aha. Uh -huh. Explosion. Oops. And a random battle. Okay. Right, question. How do I get to... I want that other treasure chest, obviously. Obtained. No. <sighs> Obtained something with a weird name. What the hell was that? Exotic weapon from a foreign land changes the slot command to Giltos. Oh. 
So that is a thing what Setsat can use. Okay. Huh. Interesting. A little nub of land that doesn't seem to have any benefits. I'd, I'd really like a new sword for Terra, actually. She does a lot of basic attacking, but I feel like giving her an elemental weapon uh, is a bit of an issue. And I don't want to use that rune blade that sacrifices her MP. Although, to, to be fair, she's not using it, so... Oops. Mom! I still don't know what causes that stumble. If I go down that way, yes, I can. Okay, so I want to go to there. Ooh, that's a run. Right, I think... Hold on. No, that was the end of that. Okay. Oh, I like the little glowing embers. Well done, Mog. You managed not to fall over. Right, there's a cave down there. Aha! What the? Right, let's turn auto battle off for this. Yoink. Zombie dragon. Testing, testing. <laughs> I've played a Final Fantasy game before. Obtained. Hi, Ether. Hi, Ether. Oops. Ah. Uh, have a love serenade. Okay, so don't use love dance on them. Edgar learned to protect. Well done, Edgar. Uh, I think we're going to have to go down through this cave, aren't we? Oh, it's one of those caves. More of these... I still haven't used trance. I should probably do that. Oh, she turned into a S before. 
Does she do like massive damage or something? Uh, okay. Yeah, that's more damn. Oh, ha! zero. And she's got a little bar. Do do. Right, does that cancel? Aha! Hmm, a mysterious switch. No! Nope. Right, I'm going to take a guess. That has... Sort of random encounter. I'm assuming that's uh, raised the bridge over to the left. That would be my guess. Let's uh ooh, people have Finish a tuning. Uh, you can do Catobal Pass. Uh, you might as well finish Cat She. Aha! No. Mog. So this chest. Aha! Genji glove, you say? Uh, Terra. I forgot what the angel ring did already. What does it do? Oh, cast regen on us. Hmm. I don't think we need that. Allows the wearer to equip a weapon in each hand. Actually. Ah, no, he kind of wants both of those. Fire and ice. Uh, yeah, I think... I think that's probably the best. Yeah, one of the weapons that Terra is using is um because it's elemental, it's causing issues. 
I think... I'm going to put that on. Um... Oh, I think I should have probably gone across that bridge and seen what was to the left. Uh-oh. I, I just spied another two switches. Yeah, see, that's more like it. No extra stumbled. Mog. Mm, uses 12 MP, though. I actually don't know how MP regen works in this game. Uh, many switches. Aha! A tent? Uh, I am not going to use the tent. We are not suffering enough for that to, to really need to be an issue. Um, but we will save the game. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, uh, he's a ninja, apparently. Couldn't steal. Defend. 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 Mug! Defend. Okay, that did quite a lot of damage. Uh, I'm assuming... No! Ooh, that does a lot of damage! Like, way more than I was expecting. Uh, I, I, I'm either going to mug you to death. Ow. Missed. Flame. No. Oh. Okay. No stealing from you then. No. I was just about to claim all the treasure buried in the ground beneath the big stairway for my own. Uh, okay. Right, now I think we could use a tent. No, there's no way of uh, getting back up to the top easily. Oh, we've got 18 tents, so realistically... Do those tents change depending on who's the leader of the party? I feel like they might do. Right. Uh. Aha! Stairs. Hmm, that looks like a big bridge. Oops. Uh, how do I get to you? Oh, ah. Obtain high ether. What? Oop. 
I'm getting tired of fighting these guys. But the guy said something about buried treasure. The question is, I'm, I'm sure he said big bridge, which that was definitely a bridge that was big. Mog. That Voon Blade does uh, a lot of damage when it's buffed by MP. What happens if we run out of MP? I wonder. I assume it just loses its bonus. Hopefully it doesn't do anything weird like take it off of its hit points. No, I'm, I'm spamming the button to see if there's anything kind of hidden buried wise, but it doesn't seem to be. Mog learned Dispel. Right, let us continue. Uh, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, God, these things. So many. Oh, I've just noticed a lot of HP. You probably do something about that. Magic. Luck. I like that I'm having to do just a little bit more in the battles, not a lot. Next. Okay, treasure chest. Obtained elixir. Right, there's clearly an openable thing there. Uh... I, I guess. Suspicions confirmed. Ah, Mog. And he has no items. Or life. Right, now just this switch, it does open that obvious door. Wonderful. Ah, oh, God. I wonder if there is an accessory or something that lets us cut down or eliminate random encounters in this. Magistrate Shard. Hi, Ether. Hi. Nah. You're dead. Oh, Terra is learning many a spell. <gasps> Ultima weapon. It's a bit early in the game to get an Ultima weapon, isn't it? Let's have a look see. Ultima. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sword whose attack power is bound to its wielder's HP. So, does that mean if you've got like full health, you. Right, hold on. Uh, let's put that back on you 
255. 255 sounds about right for Ultima Weapon. It's a fairly common number in Lavidia games. Uh, this way? Uh, that was the chest with the switch in, wasn't it? Does this switch do? Do that. Ah. Mug. Dance. Attack. Stumble. Woohoo! I've just tried to mug the same enemy, haven't I? Like a smarty pants. Mog? Mog does fall over quite a lot. Bone? Oh no! I've been turned into a zombie! Uh... I like the fact that they go green. Um, oh, HP, zero. How do I get rid of that? Q's all stays the same as except zombie and KO. I've got nothing that can remove it. Cures an empty stomach. Uh, hmm. Another Magisite shard. So what what happens to her with zombie then? Yeah, she's just not in the party until. And, uh, that's technically fine, because she she's still alive and she's still doing damage for us. Oh, actually, I think she just hit lock. <laughs> Maybe she doesn't get any XP either. Uh, well. Uh-oh. Ah, the sealed gate. This is the sealed gate. Beyond there is the Esper world. From here on out, it's all up to you, Terra. Hmm. Oh, God. Terra, quickly, the gate. Oh, we're going to have to fight Kefka without her. Mind you, it's fine. She's technically a zombie. K Kefka? You followed us here. <laughs> Just like the Emperor said. <laughs> Give them Terra and they'll open the gate for us. <laughs> In other words, you've been playing into our hands all along. <laughs> I have no business with you. I'm here to open the way to my promised glory. You'd better think again, Kefka. Oh dear. You want to fight, don't you? Oh, this is just dreadful. We 
have to no we have to keep Kefka busy busy until Terra slips through the gate. Oh, let's Oh no, that was me accidentally putting auto battle on. Enemy has no items. Okay, that's good to know. Oh. Espers, heed my call. It's open! It's open! Terra! I... I... I've got a bad feeling about this. Something's coming this way. Whoa! Bahamut? Uh, whatever that was. such frightful energy uh what shiva where tara uh. <sighs> uh oh i think we might have done a bad thing a bunch of angry espers the gate oh dear That looks a lot like a skull. Okay, it looks a little like a skull. Where did the espers go? We'd better head back to the airship. Okay, then. Mysterious. Terra is still zombied. I I'm wondering if that will heal her. Nah, it does not. I think it must only affect people that count as a party member, which she technically doesn't right now. Or maybe it just doesn't cure zombie status. I wonder, did they create zombie sprites for every character in the game? I suppose they must have done. I don't think they could have put a filter over the sprites. So that means that every single character must have a normal version and a zombie version of the sprites. Which is like double. Hold on. This wasn't here before. Oh. Yeah, that definitely wasn't there before. But it's a nice shortcut back to the entrance. Which I am more than happy to see. Question. Still locked. Lock, you are a terrible thing. I mean, treasure hunter. Can't open a door. Oh. What happened? The espers all flew off together. The imperials all ran off too, as if they were afraid of something. Which way did the espers go? Toward the imperial capital. Vector. 
I'd like a little bit of attribution to who's saying what there. We're almost a vector. Huh? What's that? Uh-oh. What's wrong, Terra? I can feel them. They're getting closer. You can feel what? There. A flash. What was that? It couldn't be. The Espers? They're coming this way. Terra, watch out. What was that? Setsa, get down. Nice work, Lock. Uh-oh. Everything's gone red. Us. Espers? Where are they going? They were angry. They were angry? No. You mustn't go. Please don't go. More importantly, why are we shaking? Is it because of the espers? Uh, said sir. I've lost control of the ship. Oh, that was Ed that was Edgar that said that. I think. Uh oh, I have zero control. No, I think we're going to crash, aren't we? You're going to take away our hard-earned airship privileges. Are we going down to the ocean? That would suck. No. Yeah. Oh, no, no, maybe not. Um. Yeah, we're totally going down. In the middle of the desert? In the middle of the desert. Well, shit. Uh, or in the trees, possibly. Controls are unresponsive. <laughs> it looks like we've landed above the trees. Ah, good, we're no longer a zombie. Right, that is going to do it for that episode. We'll find out what has, oops, what has happened to the Blackjack and the Espers next time. That, that's quite a nice, I think, place in terms of progression to end an episode. We've had a big story event. We've got a cool new weapon. Um, I don't remember this stuff about the Espers being released at all. Uh, as I said, there's only really a couple of big plot points that I remember. I remember the suplexing of the train. I remember the opera. And I remember Kefka doing what he does. Um, I, I don't remember any of the kind of the little plot points in between, which is making this really enjoyable for me. Even though the, the kind of weak enemy constant random battle thing is getting a little bit wearing um the actual plot and the characters are are, are nice and charming and well written enough but one thing that i will say about the writing because you can have any character you want in your party and the game came out on the snares so it had some memory limitations i i fully understand that the the unattributed dialogue has to remain at least reasonably generic so it could be said by whomever is in your party at the time i understand that it's still a little bit it's a little bit unfortunate that, that they couldn't have you know that they couldn't at least pull out whoever was in the party and put their portraits up and so on and so forth um 
Yeah, if, for example, I've got Terra, Edgar, Cyan, and Mog, um, attribute the dialogue to somebody rather than just ha leaving it a blank box with, with, with no name next to it. But may maybe that was too much. Maybe that was just not a, a technological thing that they could do back in the, the day. You know, keep in mind that whilst this is a PC version, a remaster, it is not a fully remade from the ground up version of the game. So that it, it's staying close to the technically the Game Boy Advanced version of the game because that's that's what it's technically emulating and pulling the data from. Next time, we'll find out what's happening with all the espers. Hope you've enjoyed this narrated experience. Have yourselves a good day, everybody. Stay safe, and I'll catch you all next time. Cheerio. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.